Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Fresh Crits of Melbourne. It's been a fair while between drinks. I haven't put out a video in a long, long time. There's been a fair bit going on in my personal life. Had a big move down to Parkdale. So if you do see me out on the road or the gravel bikes, come say g'day. Enough of that. I've done Melbourne a disservice by sitting on this video for too long because we are joined when this video was initially made was uh, joined with one of Melbourne's hottest riders and he is not such a hot take, a rider to 100% watch uh, in the next upcoming season. He was absolutely flying at the tail end of the season and uh, it was incredible to watch just his rise up into up to this uh, incredible level that he's found. But if you can't pick up by the sleeves, then maybe you'll be able to pick who I'm talking about with 300 metres to go at the 2024 Tour of Taiwan. As we come round to the front, who is that man there? On the front, coming in round at the right time with 100 metres to go. He's got a clear lead on the front. And if you haven't quite picked it yet, that is no other than Bentley Nequit Olsen, or Bento as he's formerly known. The man is absolutely flying. And I think it was uh, maybe a month or two after that race, he continued to hold his form. And with the help of his teammates at Cage uh, Park, um, he ended up winning Grafton to Inverell which is a, a massive one-day race here in Australia. Very similar to the Melbourne to Warrnambool. And a side note, there is a video of that uh, coming out soon as well. So please, on that note, do yourself a favour. Um, hit the like button, but more importantly, subscribe. So I think there's only 50% of you guys haven't actually subscribed to the channel, and it does help a lot. It means we can get some more guests over here with the dream of sending up some drones and causing absolute chaos in uh in some upcoming crits but enough of that let's uh let's meet bento and um enjoy all right ladies and gentlemen we have uh bento with us today from team cash park up mate how you doing today not too bad i can't complain well i can complain the saints are not looking so good but no, apart from that the Saints are not looking so good, and let me just quickly check on my phone to see what the scores are. You probably don't want to know. And if it's good, mate, maybe we jump off this corner and you can go back to watching the footy. Quarter three. <laughs> Saints we're... are only down by um, by seven points, so by the time we finish Oof. this video, hopefully you'll be up and about, mate. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs> um, awesome, mate. Look, it's great to get you on the channel. We've been, I've been sitting on this footage for a while now, so I appreciate you... Uh, Spending some time on your Sunday afternoon to jump on and have a bit of a chat. Um, so, you're fresh off Tour of Taiwan. Um, yep. This video was done on the 20th of March, so I think you'd only been back for a week after that race. Would that yeah, be that would have been, that'd have been probably my first fourth on back after, yeah. Okay, so, so, so you're absolutely flying. You felt good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much uh, the peak of the form. Hopefully I carried on a little bit longer, but yeah, definitely... Uh, yeah, going pretty well. Awesome, man. And what's next on the radar for you? Uh, next up, I've got uh, the Oceania Championships, um, which, as we speak, is next weekend. Um, and the Tour, Tour of Brisbane, uh, and then Grafton in Inverell uh, oh, for the next few races. Big, big few weeks, race. and then, yeah, and then hopefully a little bit of time off, and then uh, we'll see what, what racing we get at the back end of the year, but hopefully a bit more Asia Tour. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, it's all very up in the air with those sort of things. So of just take them as they come at the moment. And you're going to be staying in um, Australia or APAC. You're not going to be going over to Europe at all? No, not this year. Yeah, we're um, Cash Park up with a very Asia Tour focused team. So I've got one of those ones now. I've got the result in uh, in Taiwan. Hopefully it opens a few more doors. And I know uh, Sam, our manager, has been very, uh, very busy on the emails and Kind of rustle up a few more starts, so yeah. I love that, Exciting. and I I hope to see some more footage of you flying around um, some of those Asian tours and taking out wins. It was uh it was incredible. And if you had, didn't see the start of this video, I'm actually going to put a little bit of a highlight of you in that race. So um, if you haven't seen that, skip back to the start of the video and check that out. But enough of uh, tour of Taiwan. Let's get back. Bring it local. We're down at the teardrop today, uh, and it, yeah, like I said, 20th of March on a Wednesday afternoon. It's one of the, I think there was like three or four Wednesdays left, so it's coming into the end of the season here. Conditions look pretty prime, mate. Like, sun was out, we're all in jerseys. 
classic sea breeze, bit of um, tailwind up the the hill here, and a headwind on yeah. the um, on the downhill straight, which is pretty standard. Um, cool. So how we're going to break this video down? There's a couple of little moments that we want to talk through, um, and then I'll let Bento take the mic, and he's going to walk us through. What were we saying? Last four laps, mate. Do you reckon that will work? Yeah, I think it's last last four laps probably tells the story. Perfect. All right. Cool. Well, let's uh, let's skip into the middle of the race and uh, see how things play out. All right, mate. So we are at 12 k's, 400 meters left in this race. Six minutes. Uh, sorry, 16 minutes 30 have just ticked over. And for 15 minutes of this race, you've just been tailgunning. You've been sitting at the back, chilling out. What's your tactics there? Like, I thought you might have been always up at the front, wanting to, um, you know, organize the race. What's your thoughts sitting at the back? Um, yeah, I was. I actually felt a bit guilty with the camera on. I sort of uh, thought I felt legs felt pretty good. I was tempted to launch a few early ones, but I thought no, I better just. Um, this is kind of my usual tactic, um, and probably if you ask most people, they'd say it's easier at the front. It definitely is easier this race if you're riding at the front in terms of you know taking your speed through the corner, uh, less acceleration out of the corner up the hill, those sort of things. But for me, to, to be honest, it's if I sit at the front then everyone looks at me to follow every single move. So True. I'm better off sitting very last wheel, basically, is what you would have seen for the first yeah. 15 minutes. Uh, yeah. And people, it's funny, people sort of forget very quickly that I'm there. And I know, um, I remember seeing Luke Burns of Bridge Lane. He sort of floated back and, and looked at me and sort of goes, what are you doing? Like, yeah, the you know, are you going to race this yeah. race? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but um, yeah, I find it easier to sit here. It's a bit more, as you can see, it's still decent acceleration up the hill. Um, yeah. But I'm kind of like, yeah, I can sit here, I can ride a pretty consistent race, save a lot of energy, because in my experience, like, I reckon maybe I've, there's been a move that's gone in the first 10 minutes, maybe once I've that seen. At um, Hawthorne? And of, also, it's one, at Hawthorne, yeah. It's, um, it's very rare that the move goes from the gun or in that first sort of 10 minutes. I normally find about 15 minutes in is when the um, when the race starts to go and you can and sort of see uh, and now it starts to go you've called it basically 11 k's left you've had to put in a big effort here because the split's gone up the road but because you've been sitting at the back taking it easy i'm assuming you're feeling fairly fresh at this stage yeah well this is this is the risk of sitting at the back is you have to be attentive um because things you know people get tired from those first 15 minutes um and that's sort of that's kind of where I'm at. I like to let people get tired and then I come forward with some fresh legs, but then sometimes things like that happen and um, I, I noticed that big group up the road there and, and it was probably bigger than the group that I was in behind, so I just had had, had to take a bit of responsibility there. to Burn a match a to get it. across to it. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I've had a pretty easy start to the race, so it's it was a hard effort, but it wasn't. it's not detrimental. Um, and now I'm back here and, and this is probably the point where I go, oh, well, um, people are starting to feel it. People are starting to drop wheels. So now I'm sort of now I start to have a look at uh, what's happening in the race. Maybe the race for soon. you starts at almost 10 k's left. Yeah, yeah, I'd say yeah. so. Normally, like I'll no, there's no like um, exact formula, but I generally won't. I'll try to do a little like I'll look at my Garmin. I'll see 15 minutes, and then I'll go. All right, this is now we can start racing. Now there's only you know most of the time Hawthorne is 30, 35 minutes, so yep. it's only 20 minutes of racing. I know I can. Um, pretty comfortably uh, do that. You can see here another little gap's opening. People are really starting to get tired. Exactly. Um, I was just going to say, sort of, man, yeah. you're going to put me out of a job. You gets me excited. All, right. all, all these little blitz <laughs> are starting to, uh, starting to open up and you've just got to be on it. Luke Burns up the road here. You, you've obviously identified him as a pretty strong rider, so you've bridged across to this as well, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a few guys in the race that, um, that I know will want to get away like this. There's people that will know that they're not going to win if it is a bunch kick. Mm -hmm. People like Mark O'Brien, mm -hmm. Luke Burns here. Um, they're probably the two strongest guys in the race. Um, I know they want to get away because they're not going to win a sprint. Um, so as long as I can stay with them, um, then a pretty good chance. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we've got a little bit of blood in the water there. I think Burnsy went. I've gone across to him um, and just thinned out the field a lot here. Yeah. So I, I want to go back a little bit. Um... You mentioned that, yeah, you find yourself uh, riding better when you're kind of sitting in the back and watching all the moves in front of you and, you know, don't feel that obligation to chase stuff down. For someone who's in, I don't 
don't know, B grade, C grade, or even making that first jump into A grade, would you advise them to sit at the back? Would you advise them to stay in the first five wheels? I don't know, what would you say to that uh, up and coming racer uh, down at Hawthorne? I would I would sit first for five wheels <laughs> if I was <laughs> in that position. <laughs> it's I much say, easier. I, and, uh, I think exactly. Yeah, and I remember when I first went into A grade, um, you know, gone through B grade and got my wins and podiums or whatever. And all I wanted to do was finish in A grade. It was so yeah. hard. And that's yeah. the key is just like getting the confidence to be able to ride up there because it's just once you're at the at the back and in the trenches, it's so much harder to move up, and you kind of just you get more more and more tired, and it's harder to move up and all those sort of things. So. Um, if I were, yeah, if I was just, if I was a B grader or, you know, in A grade or, or whatever and just wanted to get around, um, that's what I would do. Definitely. And I've actually, but... yeah, you, you, it's actually good to hear you say that, man, that you were once a mere mortal like the rest of us. But you're exactly right. The key to finishing is in, uh, is trying to um, stay in that first five wheels, but it's easier said than done. Okay, mate. So... 8.5Ks left, and you can hear in the mic, uh, it's prime lap, the commissar is waving his flag. That means if you win the sprint at this lap here, you win some chocolates. Are you going to be going for it this lap? Um, no, I've, I've never won a prime at Hawthorne. <laughs> um, not because I don't want a winner's bar, but more so just, um, well, firstly, it's just about keeping the pace in the breakaway. We've got I think it's eight guys here and we're all working pretty well. So if we start launching from here and going for it, then, you know, we're going to start mucking around and we'll, we'll get bought back. So that's probably the key factor. Um, but also just, um, yeah, if I was at any other race, a big race with the team and I started going for intermediate sprint, anything like that, I would be absolutely ridiculed. So <laughs> unless that was the goal of the team was to win a sprint or a, or a KOM or something like that, you're always all in for the race win, not for uh, these little intermediate distractions along the way i love that because i'm all in on a prime i'll do whatever i'll burn myself so hard in order to win some chocolates or some socks at the end of a race so it's good to hear <laughs> that uh maybe one day i'll take a prime and i'll stick it up here but you're up the front and you're driving the pace really hard and on the left you're gonna see the shadow of a great man who's been on the on the uh on the channel before there's dino madden lights it up takes the prime wins some chocolates and now he's going to be absolutely gassed and probably out the back door in a matter of kilometres, I reckon. Well, it's a matter of time, only a time will tell, I suppose, there, mate. So, yeah, no, that's a really good insight for, um, for how you go about handling sort of sprint pines and, um, and KOM jerseys and stuff. All in on the win. I love that. That's great. All right, mate. So we're coming into four laps left and a bit of a live update on the footy. The Saints are up. You must be up yeah. and about, mate. Yeah, good. But, uh, that's good to Very hear. Up and about. <laughs> Although, knowing the Saints, nothing's over until it's over. No, so, I won't get too excited not. just yet. Yeah, let's not jinx them. Let's not jinx them. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, we're coming into four laps left. Um, the group's whittled down to, I think there's four of you guys left. And Marco yep. is absolutely driving the pace. Um, all right, I'm going to leave this up to you, man. Talk me through what you're thinking at this moment. Like, four laps in. Marco just done a huge effort. Well, yeah, so now we're down to four. Um, it simplifies things a fair bit. Um, so I've got Forbesy, uh, Marco, Luke, and myself. Uh, in my head now, I'm thinking, I know Marco and, uh, and Luke are going to want to get away solo. They're not going to be able to beat James and I in sprint. Um, so basically, I'm just bracing myself for three more laps here of just them absolutely launching. Um, and it's going to be basically up to Forbesy and I to keep it all together. Um, and I know Forbesy as well is probably going to want to let me do as much as as he possibly can and sort of uh, let things go um, and make me chase to tie me out to give himself the best chance of winning. So um, it's a real game here. Of we, I think we've got a decent gap to the peloton, so we're not too worried about um, all working together really harmoniously. It's just a lot about, you can see Marco here, every lap up the hill, he just goes absolutely full gas. Um, and it's just uh, a matter of me for just <laughs> holding on and um, hoping I can uh, take it to a sprint at the end. And are you feeling, uh, so I think we're going to get three here, hopefully. Yep, there you can see on the left-hand side, there's three laps left. You're, you're obviously feeling pretty fresh because you just launched a little attack over the top of the hill. <laughs> yeah, I spoke to Mark after the race and, um, and he was sort of saying, you know, in his mind it was... Um, 
him and Luke needed to work together and, and launch, and he was pretty surprised when I launched here because uh, he was yeah he wasn't really expecting that. But I think um, I caught him off guard. Yeah, a, that's great. Yeah, exactly. It's a shame we don't have a rear camera here, but I remember looking back and, and Luke was uh, was closing that. Which, to be honest, if, if I were him, I I wouldn't have. I probably would have let James. I would have put it in his court or, or yeah. Marco or like tried to launch across because he's not really going to achieve much burning his matches to ride across to me. Um, you can see him come past here. Um, and everyone's looking better pretty off. fatigued, right? Like, there's some tough, exactly, lot, of, yeah. lot of rocking and rolling on the bike, as uh, Matt yep. Keenan would say. Um, <laughs> cool, so we're coming around. This will be coming into two laps left. You're just bracing for another Marco um, launch up this berg. Exactly, yeah. There's a few certainties in life, and Marco going absolutely hammering tongs <laughs> up this climb is one of them. Um, yeah, at this point, I'm just thinking, I think we're coming into two to go now, so that means yep. there's <laughs> not too many chances for Marco to attack. So if I can just keep it together, then maybe I can try to get my breath back. But you can see here, he's just absolutely going he's for it. it. Yeah, and, um, and fortunately, James has been able to cover it, so he's burned a little match there, but... Exactly, he's straight he, on the wheel, so... He doesn't want to hit the front. He's wanting you to do... He's forcing you to do all the work here, which is... It's smart racing, really, at the end of the day, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's what I would do if I was in this position. And now I'm on the front here, and this is coming around this sweep. You get a little bit of a freewheel, and then everyone knows this is... If you take some speed from the back, you can really get a good differentiation of speed and, and really launch something here. So really? you can probably say I keep looking over my shoulder here. Just I don't want to be... Yeah, here's Marco and, and Burns are going past. It's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Um, oh, luckily, James is on to it. And you but just yeah, another match burnt there. as well, like 1,100 watts in order to close that. But now exactly. you're in you're in not a bad spot here, right? Like, what are we coming into yeah. now? We've got two left, I think, right? I think, yeah, we're coming into two to yep. go maybe up here. Um, yeah, it's really just like, at this point, I just have to not fox too much and just close things as, soon, as quickly as possible. I don't want to give anyone a whiff of, uh, of hope. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to keep it together. Yep. Um, and sort of, it's one of those ones, the quicker you close it, the quicker the effort's over. The, you know, the, the more I can sort of try to cruise around on the wheel and, um, and save it for the end. Because, yeah, yeah for me, it's, um, I back myself from this grip from the sprint. Um, and here's, yeah, here goes Marco again. This is, actually, one last this is actually last lap now, isn't it? Yeah, the signs yeah, this, so this was is, last lap. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yep. So in my head here, this is the last opportunity for Marco to go. This and maybe around the bottom. Yep. But the fact that he's gone there, I've just had to do this big effort. I, you know, I didn't wait a second as soon as I saw him go. I was just yep, got to be on that. Snapped straight um, on. You didn't give it. You didn't even look around to see if anyone else was going to close that. You were like, I'm just going regardless. No, because yeah, it's so good. easy for someone to slip away there. Um, yep. And you know, everyone's going to look at me at a chase anyway, so I may as well just close it straight away. Um, then you can see here, I'm, this is not a good position for me to be in to sprint um, front, yeah. first wheel. Uh, opens up to a lot of you know attacks. Um, yep. I like to come into the corner first wheel because um, okay. because the, the nature of the finish it's got the curves in it. But yeah. Um, yeah, as soon as Luke comes past here, sweep him on the wheel. I put in a little sprint here just to guarantee I'm in into this first. corner first. Yep. Um, I, you can see I'm sort of left, and then I close it to the right to get that line. Oh, um, good. And you can basically from here, it's like you can go as slow to that corner as you want because no one's going to get past. Yeah. Um, and then you just go hard left here, and then I'll straighten up, go hard right. Dude. Close off all the lines. It's really hard to come past. If you go through that wheel in second, um, it's really hard to get past because you just can't put down all your power um, at this point here. Yeah. Oh, Got it. That, that was incredible, man. I was like living that with you. What a race. <laughs> um, yeah, I was pretty stoked that, to get the win with the camera on. Yeah, I couldn't, be I couldn't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Little shuckers. <laughs> Dude, you can have the cameras, man. You, if you're going to win every time you, uh, you wear them, you can have them. Um, mate, that was absolutely incredible. You you took me, you took us on a journey. So thank you so much for uh, you know not only putting on the cameras for this race, but spending your Sunday afternoon to uh, to take us through the race. Um, yeah, mate, pleasure. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go so you can go and watch the Saints get up over the Tigers. Um, thanks again for your time, and I can't wait to see you um, out on the road next. What did you say uh, this weekend? You, you're up in um, Oceania. Uh, I'm a Brizzy for yeah Oceania champs. So. That's a lot of UCI points on the table there, so fingers crossed. Mate, Fing, we'll, be, uh, we'll be supporting you from down here. I'll share all your socials, so make sure you um, give Bento a like on the socials and, uh, and support him because uh, all goes a long way. Bento, again, thank you so much. And, Amazing. Uh, we'll, thank you. We'll see you next time.
What a fantastic guest to have on this channel. Bento, thank you so much for taking us through that. And how amazing was in talking through that last lap, specifically taking a hard left on that uh, first little bend and then a hard right. Incredible stuff. Bento, thanks again for joining us on the channel. I'll share all his socials below, so please make sure you check him out. And, uh, yeah, also chuck us a like and a subscribe, share us with your friends, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks. Ciao.